Lung cancer is a deadly cancer, and it can only be cured if it's found in an early stage. Unless you screen, you won't find it until it's advanced. The screening test for lung cancer is a low-dose CT scan of the chest. What will happen is you'll come and they'll register you and they'll lead you into the CT scan suite. You'll lay on a table. You will not need to remove your clothes. There will be no IVs or wires or anything connected to you. You'll pass through what looks like a big donut and the whole thing will take as long as it takes to take a single breath. We offered this test at two locations, at our Mercy Health St. Mary's campus downtown on Jefferson and also at Mercy Health Southwest campus in Byron Center and they're offered 24 hours a day, so we can always find a time that will work for you. If um, you would like to be screened for lung cancer, we ask you to call our number, and one of our program coordinators will ask you some questions to make sure that you meet the eligibility criteria. We'll then contact your doctor to get an order for the test, and we'll arrange it. We are starting with um, the people who are most at risk for lung cancer, based on the national study that demonstrated how many lives could be saved with this. Over time, there may be reasons to screen other people, but right now we're sticking to the original plan of 55 to 74 years old and significant smoking history. Significant smoking history is defined as 30 pack years or more, either of current smoking or smoking in the last 15 years. A pack year is when you smoke one pack of cigarettes a day for a full year. If you smoke two packs a day for 15 years, that's 30 pack years. A regular CAT scan of the lungs can cost hundreds of dollars, but is covered by insurance. Insurance does not yet cover these scans. We thought it was so important that patients receive them that we set our price at $99. After the scan is complete, the patient will receive a letter regarding the results. If there is a particular concern, they'll also receive a phone call from us. Many of our patients have nodules when we do the scan. Most of those nodules don't represent cancer. We look at the size and the shape and some other features of the nodule that the radiologist can determine to predict whether it represents cancer. But one of the most important things we can do is follow it over time and see if it enlarges over perhaps three months or six months or 12 months. When nodules are changing, that's when we worry. Based on the national trial, we recommend that patients receive three CT scans with a year in between each one to be most effective in finding early cancers. The real question though, is if the scan is abnormal, what happens next? We've assembled a team of medical specialists and technology to deal with whatever the scan shows. Whether that's a pulmonary specialist or a radiologist that can biopsy and see that spot or a thoracic surgeon that could remove that spot with a robotic technology. Or finally, even radiation therapy without doing surgery at all. It's that team of specialists that's gonna give people the edge in dealing with their cancer. Currently, Mercy Health Black's Cancer Center is the only facility in West Michigan that offers this service. We hope that other hospitals will follow suit soon because this is such an important problem.